Girlfriend Cleveland. So I'm a romantic. How'd you crack that jewelers without tripping the alarm? Just read me my rights and call my lawyer. I ain't talking to you. Fine by me. I went off duty five minutes ago. He's all yours, Robo. Good. Hey! You can't do this! Don't leave me here with this thing! Hey, listen, I got a pacemaker. Okay, talk to me, Cleveland. Start with how you're nowhere near smart enough to pull off a job this slick. Okay, I'll talk, but I think better with my feet on the ground. Okay, Robo, put him down. Easy, easy, I don't like heights. Who is your boss? It's talk, always the human element that lets you down. Now. You don't Too bad. To us, you're take the rap this hall would have bought us the auger 15. Right. What are you going to do? The first rule of accounting management, Felston. Cut your losses. Okay, Murphy. I'm okay. It doesn't hurt. I don't feel anything. Go ahead and shock the flat line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody, clear! Officer Alex Murphy shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you.
How is she, doctor? Even if she wakes up, the damage to her neck and spine is irreparable. I want to know what happened. So do I. Closer look. Surgical program initiated. Nano machines now performing cone reconstruction. Cone reconstructive surgery complete. Surrounding tissue damage 0.002%. Color vision restored. Pilsen. Meet the new help, Tom and Jerry. Hi. Hi. Delta City Bank. Learn the layout at your first job. You want us to knock over Delta City Bank? Nobody's ever done that before. They didn't have the benefit of superior technology. Right, fellas? Program these to disable the vault door, front door, and alarms, and one for the safety deposit boxes. What are those things? The ticket to unimaginable wealth. Inside that liquid are thousands and thousands of nanomachines. Submicroscopic robots that are programmed to perform any mechanical or electronic task. The money we get from this job will help us buy the Augur 15. Then we'll have the computing power to finally realize our dream. Your dream, Finch. I'm a prisoner working under protest. Oh, stop your whining. Admit it. You've made more advances working for me in the last six months than you ever would have working at the IRS workhouse. These non-specific disruptors alone are worth the Nobel Prize. But they're just toys compared to what you'll be able to do with the Augur 15. You, gentlemen, are standing on the leading edge of criminal technology. With my help, you're going to commit crimes you never thought possible. How's Lisa? She was badly injured in the accident. Eh, accident my foot. Something put that bus out of control. Here, look. Now I've tapped into Forensics Lab data bank. They found this tiny armor-piercing needle in the bus grill. There seems to be some kind of residue in the barrel. I'm running a molecular scan on it now. It seems to be some new kind of colloidal medium. I haven't been able to identify it yet, but I will. That is forensics job. I don't care. I want to help find whoever did this to Lisa. I want them to pay. They will. To the full extent of the law. Here while I make the deposit. What do you think, Tom? I still think he's an amateur.
<laughs> Murphy. Who won? We did. <laughs> Remember that bus? There was a crash. Oh. Murphy, what happened? Murphy, what happened? I can't move. How come I can't feel anything, Murphy? Oh, God, no. Please tell me this isn't happening. I can't feel anything. Oh, God, please tell me this isn't, this is a dream. I'm gonna wake up in a second. Oh, God, no, Murphy. Murphy! <laughs> It's time. Let's go. Uh, let me out. Cage. He expects us to just walk in? I told you, he's an amateur. Still think he's an amateur, Tom? I stand corrected, Jerry. Beta 1, Beta 1, stand by for uplink with Sergeant Clark. Robocop, come in. Go ahead, Sergeant. I put a special scan on the city alarm grid because of all these weird robberies. We're showing a blank spot right now at the Delta City Bank. Check it out, Liam. Yes, sir. <laughs> scene of a crime looking cut or did you transfer to forensics without my knowledge? Oh no, I, I'm just lending a hand, Sergeant. Now, this looks like the same colloidal medium residue from that needle the lab dug out of the bus. Yeah, I also found some in the engine of the robocruiser. What's it used for? Well, that's what I'll find out if I can crack a molecular code. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Just keep forensics up to date and me. The residue is found in box 666. The bank records show it is rented to a Howard K. Smith. Gotta be an alias. We'll get a description. Hmm. The bank security camera should have a photo of him. Not bad, Charlie. Oh, uh, uh, thanks. I will run a scan of the bank's photo records. <clears throat> Here's the Ugga 15. What do you want, this, Mr. Finch? Right there, Jerry. Tom's on the phone, wants to talk to you. Take a look at it, Phelps. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Feeling lousy, Jerry. 
pull another tag out of me and my butt's gonna look like a waffle. <laughs> no cut, no strut, Tom. Hey, listen, with that chip beeping inside of you, you're a walking target for the cops. Uh, you'll be better off sitting this one out. Don't say sit, okay? Sorry. It's beautiful. That could take us to the moon with this. <laughs> Finally, a spark of enthusiasm. We don't want the moon. No, no, no. Just some nano machines programmed to take out the entire city's alarm grid. Trouble. I finally got a lock on that colloidal medium. Now, it matches one patented by the IRS last year. It was designed to pack and transport nano machines. You know, microscopic robots? Well, somebody's programming them to commit crimes. Does the patent name the inventor? Funny you should ask. These three hold patents on nano research. This guy specialized in the development of the colloidal medium. Edward Felston. Mm-hmm. Last known address, the IRS workhouse in Des Moines. He was working out back taxes by developing nanomachine research until he was broken out six months ago. And who was the arresting IRS agent on Felston's case? Dennis Finch, IRS chief auditor. President's medal, forensic accounting. Two citations for outstanding asset seizure. Quit a year ago, started his own business, Finch Financial Services on Booker Street near Washington. I have seen him before. Great, great. It looks like we got a suspect. Now all you have to do is nail a creep. <laughs> no. More evidence is needed for a successful prosecution. Stakeout? Oh, please let me in on it, Robo. No, come, I, I want to bust this guy so bad. Your value is better served here. But thank you, Charlie. Well, anything you need, just holler. Anything! These are the fiber optic conduits leading into the public works building in Metronet. That's your access point. Release the nano machines there, next to the fiber optic conduit. How long will it take them to reach Neurobrain? 60 minutes. By then, they'll have deactivated the diligence system. Which monitors every alarm in Delta City. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks to you, the dream of my professional lifetime will finally bear fruit. Just what are you going to steal? Pocket change, Felston. That's all. Just pocket change. When you're done, release these back into Metronet. They'll repair the system. Why bother? With the diligence system down, Metronet will ignore every alarm in the city. You think I want that on my head? Stop, bitch. That Robocop's got the place staked out. I know that, Jerry. He's been out there for hours now. I've already arranged to transfer assets out of here. How are we going to get past the robot? With the help of your friend. Tag ID number Butts got me. We'll have you out on the street before you know it. Just hang tough. You will take care of Tom, right, Mr. Finch? You can count on it, Jerry. What's the problem, officer? You were exceeding the posted speed limit by 50 miles per hour. Oh, the speedometer must be busted. You are also wanted in connection with a bank robbery. Please step out of the car. Get away from the car. 
are now. Are you feeling? Oh, never better. Sorry, Murphy. Being stuck in this contraptions made me think about what you must go through. God, how do you do it? How am I gonna do it? Come on, Murphy, let's take them. When there's purpose to your life, that question will always find an answer. under arrest on IRS escape warrant 7653 and for suspicion of robbery. I'm not part of this. It's Dennis Finch. He made me do it. Tell me everything. That's where Finch introduced the nanomachines. They should have reached Metronet by now and shut down the diligence system. Every police and fire alarm in the city will be turned off. It'll cause havoc. Can the damage to Metronet be repaired? I programmed another vial to reverse the effect, but Finch has it. Now, this whole thing was his idea. My nanomachines were meant to be medical tools, not commit crimes. Medical tools? What is Finch's target? All he said was it's the culmination of his life's work and something about pocket change. Pocket change. Dennis Finch, IRS Chief Auditor. President's Medal, Forensic Accounting. Two citations for outstanding asset seizure. What was that, Robo? Where would assets seized by the IRS be stored? When I was at the workhouse, I heard that all assets seized in the Midwest are stored in a special vault on Hoover Road. Thank you for your cooperation. Come on, everybody! It's party time! What about guards? Laid off during the last federal cutbacks. Fault security is totally automated. <laughs> Let's go.
What is all this? Seized assets. Let it be a lesson to you. Always pay your taxes. Just exactly what are we taking out of here? My life's work is what? Twelve years of audits, inspections, poring over tax returns, endless testimony, watching the rich squirm while I seize their priceless treasures. What treasures? Lot 14-112. Coins, my friend. The Brasher doubloon minted in 1787. Just one of many. Worth two million dollars anywhere in the world, no questions asked. The Claudius Albinosaurus struck in 193 AD. Eight hundred thousand dollars in a bad market. Oh, the list goes on and on. <laughs> Open it. This is the beauty that started my dream. The lost 200 mohair piece, created for Emperor Shah Jahan. 70 ounces of pure gold, the only one in existence. Man, you really know your coins, don't you? Half a lifetime spent coveting other people's wealth to do that to you. Dennis Finch. You are under arrest. I don't think so. Don't touch that. You know how much that's worth? In local news, sporadic power blackouts are causing traffic jams and mass communications failure throughout the city. And in what may be a related story, trading on the stock exchange was halted when the big board started running quotes from Lord Byron. A poet, I believe, Bo. Could be, uh, Rocky. In other news... Shut up, Bo. No news is good news. Lighten up, people. Life's a party. Just as good old Commander Cash. Hey, Robbie. Why the long face? My dog died. I gotta bury him. Well, put those sad goodbyes on ice for the DG2000 home cryogenic unit. Barky! And for the old folks, there's the DG4000, made with grandma and grandpa in mind. So, never say goodbye. When you can say hello, do call me cryogenic. Diana, respond. Hey, big guy. How'd you like the cartoon? Care for a virtual martini? You are not yourself. 
I am on my way to repair you. Does anything look broken? You have suffered damage to your diligence system. Hey, Alex. Why don't you spike into Metronet? You, me, cyberspace? Could be special. Try to control yourself, Diana. Okay, play hard to get. Token on. I love classical music. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> What the? What's going on? <gasps> there is no reason for alarm. Hospital generators are now online. They've got 20 minutes of fuel for the auxiliaries. Power should be back before then. Most excitement I've had all day. I hear you knocking, but you can come in. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, you are ruining a perfectly good night on the town, Alex. Come on, let's dance. Disco. Nice shooting, partner. You don't know what you're doing, Diana. No? Watch this. <laughs> you are a pushy guy, Alex. What's your problem? Can a girl have a little fun? Hannigan. <laughs> Sarge! They've lost all power. What do we do? Gadget, go get the nurse. <laughs> Activate MetroNav. Got an indirect easterly route out of Detroit. No highways or main roads, no toll booths. Plotting route. Drive north 1.4 miles. Turn right on Brewer Avenue. This navigational program brought to you by Grady's Auto Glass, specialists in ballistics damage. Oh, Alex, you are such a party pooper. You cannot have power without responsibility, Diana. You are ignoring the emergency. Madigan is in danger. Hang in there, Madigan. Hang in. Is she gonna be okay? Sure she is. Honey. She's got it. <laughs> you will feel better soon. No, I won't. I'll feel normal. There is not a joy the world can give like that it takes away. Hey. No. No. Oh my. 
What have I done? The power is down at OCP Omni Metaplex. Not for long. Did I miss anything? Lisa, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I'll try not to, kiddo. <laughs> Lisa's all right. I must apprehend Dennis Finch. Can you help me locate him? Yeah, just give me a couple seconds to clean up this mess. Thank you, Diana. It's nice to have you back. He's using Metronav to plot a getaway route, but photo radar nailed him eastbound on Brewer. Thank heaven for zero tolerance. I will intercept. Don't bother. He'll be at Jane and Burroughs in ten minutes. How do you know? Count on it. Give me a route update. Continue two miles east. Turn south on Jane Street. program brought to you by Robocop. Sucker. Dennis Finch, you are under arrest. Please step out of the vehicle. You step out of the way, helmet head. I repeat, Turn off your engine and exit the vehicle. In your dreams, Tim. Can't back out of this one, Finch. was your final warning. This one is for Madigan. Thank you for your cooperation. Here we see actual microscopic footage of the revolutionary nanomachines at work. Repairing a human spine. That's astounding, Rocky. The latest in surgical techniques. Itsy robots crawling around inside your body. Oh, I don't even like needles, Bo. <laughs> and finally, a look at Lisa Madigan, the brave police detective who is the first experimental patient of nanosurgery. Seen here with Edward Felston, who designed the Itsy. Oh, come on, guys, not again. We got a sniper on the roof. 243 Clementine Boulevard. Let's go, Robo. Snipers I can deal with. Once a cop, always a cop. Right, Madigan? Right, partner.
heart of the darkness, the light still burns. I'll take you back there to a memory of love. In the heart of the darkness. 